bad because all oh, they have is antagonists. You have no children but no light. Something I come here to drink. We want to be engineers. Every must be practice and practice, practice up to six months. I think that our mind is good and clear. We do go our village, make I hand over to Ms. Gina Oeka, USDPA2, to conduct a further program. Um, 
guests from the Barefoot College, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Development Partnership Administration of the Ministry of External Affairs of India, I extend a very warm greetings to everyone present here. I would like uh, to welcome and to fe felicitate the ITEC trainee solar engineers of Barefoot College who are with us today on the occasion of International Women's Day, a special day when we salute the spirit of womanhood. ITEC is a flagship capacity building program of the Ministry of External Affairs. It is a program through which we endeavor to share our developmental experiences with sister developing countries in the spirit of South-South cooperation. It's therefore extremely gratifying to receive today the grandmothers from different countries who have chosen to come to India to learn not only to build their own capacity, but also to change the destinies of their respective countries. ITEC is a proud vehicle in their journey to overcome the challenges. I now invite Joint Secretary Development Partnership Administration to Mr. Kumar Tuhin to kindly make his remarks on this occasion. I am very happy to welcome you all uh, today to this event on meeting with uh, Solar Grandmothers, which actually is the very first event that we are organizing uh, as, as a series of activities we are organizing this year to mark the Golden Jubilee of ITEC, which is the flagship capacity building program of our ministry, and which was started 50 years ago on Septem in September 1964. Now, under the menu of courses and institutes which are available under ITEC and its sister schemes, uh, that is Special Commonwealth Assistance for Africa program and the Colombo plan, we offer a number of courses in diverse range of disciplines starting from English to IT to SME development, uh, textiles technology, uh, web design and so on and so forth. But on the International Women's Day, and as my colleague was saying that we are celebrating and saluting the spirit of womanhood, we are going to showcase a unique training program that is geared entirely for women. Now what this training program sets out to do is truly audacious, and let me say why. One of the basic requirements for, uh, for uh, candidates to apply under ITEC is that they must possess working knowledge of English, for obvious reasons. But for this training program, we are selecting illiterate and semi-literate uh, poor rural women from LDC countries, women who have no access to motorable roads, women who have no access to grid electricity. And when they come here to India, uh, they are being taught fairly complicated uh, technology of assembling solar panels and being able to repair them when required. The basic philosophy being that illiteracy is no barrier to development and that uh, sophisticated technology can be uh, uh, can be implemented and uh, dis uh, disseminated by, by uh, women who can barely read and write, in believing in the capacities of these, these women who may not have opportunity but have dignity, and who in terms of age may be uh, grandmothers and mothers, but who have a heart young and keen to learn. So as DPA2, which is the nodal division, uh, which is handling the capacity building programs run by this ministry, we are very proud to partner with Barefoot College uh, which, is, uh, which is implementing these training programs, and I would like uh, to invite Mr. Bankaroy, who heads this unique training institution, to introduce us to the solar grandmothers. Thank you. To all the women solar engineers, namaste. namaste. Can you imagine these women have never left their village in their lives, never been to school and college, first time getting onto a plane, traveling 19 hours, arriving on the dead of night, can't speak the language for six months, strange food, strange country, strange language, strange people, and yet illiterate, and on top of that becoming a solar engineer in six months. There cannot be more gutsy examples of grandmothers all over the world than these grandmothers you see here today. 
we came to a very profound conclusion many years ago when we started the iTech program. We came to the conclusion that men are untrainable. <laughs> men are restless. Men are compulsively mobile. Men are ambitious and all want a certificate. And the moment you give a man a certificate, anywhere in the world, he leaves the village within days looking for a job in a city. So what has the Barefoot College done? We don't believe in giving certificates because certificates is one way of encouraging people to leave the village to go to a city. And we only train women because they are rooted in the village, they're rooted in the soil, they have the culture and the tradition, and they all have the capacity and competence given the opportunity to become solar engineers. Ladies and gentlemen, we've trained s over 700 solar grandmothers in 64 countries around the world, <laughs> courtesy iTech, and not one failure. Let me tell you, grandmothers have had to face tremendous challenges. Most of them, when we go to these African countries, the husband says, oh, if you go, I'll take another wife. Six months, can't wait, go. They go in spite of that threat, they come back and solar electrify the first villages ever in their country and the husband is in total awe of the whole situation and says, please come back. <laughs> in Burkina Faso, happened same time, she went and came back and the husband said, now come back. And the woman said, no, no, I'm quite happy now. <laughs> I don't need to, I, know, I don't need you at all. So we are very unpopular with the men of the country where we go to but these gutsy women are incredible. Now, because of there's a shortage of time, I'm going to request the ambassador of Brazil to please um, ask Ana Paula to say something about her experiences in, in, uh, in, in, um, in her six months and how she came, was she scared, what did she, what did she pick up, what will she take back as ambassadors? Please remember, that these women know more about solar engineering than any graduate after five years of university. This is what makes them incredible grandmothers. Please, my ambassador. <coughs> Will you tell her what she should, uh, what we wanted to say? Yes. Uh, Ana Paula. Uh, bon get dia. Up. Ah, yes. Ah. <laughs> Bom dia a todos. Good morning to all. É, vou falar um pouco me Ana Paula de Country Brasil. Eu vim até a Índia. Gostei muito de ter aprendido energia solar. I was very happy to learn about solar energy and to have come to India. Quando eu voltar ao Brasil, vou poder ensinar para as outras tudo o que eu aprendi aqui. When I go back to Brazil, I will also be able to teach to to many other people what I learned here. Pessoal lá tá tudo ansioso, me esperando, tudo confiante. Everyone very anxious waiting for me back home. Já estão fazendo na escola o lugar onde eu vou ensinar para eles. They are already uh, building the, the the place where I'm going to be teaching them. E tá tudo bem. And everything is fine. What was she scared about, Ambassador? What was her biggest fear when she came to India? This is what she's thinking of most. Bom, do que eu tinha mais medo porque era para vir quatro engenheiras, quatro pessoas do Brasil, quatro mulheres, e aí acabaram, elas ficaram com medo de vir, aí não terminou não vindo, aí vinha, veio eu sozinha. Aí eu fiquei com medo de ser tráfico porque por causa da novela que teve de tráfico, aí eu fiquei com medo de vir, mas confiei no banco, que ele foi lá ao Brasil, confiei, leva, ele levou o vídeo lá, eu vi o vídeo e confiei, e então eu vi, deu tudo certo. 
four women were supposed to come from Brazil. Uh, and uh, I was scared uh, in terms of I didn't really know what to expect. And I was scared of uh, if, 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 this, if this might be trafficking or something <laughs> of this sort. But Bunker came. And uh, uh, the after that, I, I became more, more confident that it, that, it, that it wasn't anything like that. But even then, uh, three of the four uh, didn't, didn't come. I was, the, I was the only one to come. But uh, that's, that's what I was most, most because scared Because Ambassador, of. at that time, there was this great uh, rape case which was in India, and it was widely publicized, and they all said, no, no, we are very too scared. But this gutsy woman said, no, no, I'll go regardless. Thank you. Anything she wants to say other than that? Quer falar mais alguma coisa? No, it's all smooth. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. Okay. Ambassador, you think this is a program that we should replicate in the Brazil? You think some more women should come after this experience? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I think uh, uh, Switzerland. I think Ana Paula's experience uh, speaks for itself, and I think w if you can replicate this this experience again if, uh, with uh, other people from Brazil, it will be to to their benefit, definitely. If I had an, an opportunity to come back again, I would. That's what Ana Paula said. <laughs> You're not allowed on that. Just have a <laughs> Now we can have um, a lady from Rashmi from Indonesia, and would um, you like to translate her? Because she's going to. Rashmi came, ladies and gentlemen. The beauty of this is that we have to choose the grandmother personally. With due respects to all the Indian ambassadors around, I don't think they'd be able to choose this grandmother without some assistance from outside. <laughs> because we need to have them illiterate, we need to have grandmothers, and sometimes they are totally mystified in some of these embassies saying, why are you taking an Indian illiterate woman from the middle of a village somewhere to six months, you know? So much persuasion, but every one of the grandmothers who are here have been selected personally by a visit to their community. So would, uh, sir, would you like to ask her, uh, why did she come? I mean. Uh, is there a reason why she came? Is there, could you, you give us some of her personal life? Oh. She actually had a tragedy in her family where her husband died in between, but she planned to stay. In spite of that, she didn't want to go back. So it's all credit to her. Rashmi. Terima kasih atas kesempatan yang diberikan kepada saya. Di sini saya bercerita tentang kehidupan kami di India sini. Pertama-pertama kami datang ke India yaitu di Tilonia. Kami tidak tahu bahasa Inggris, tidak tahu bahasa India. Habis itu kami disuruh ke kelas. Di dalam hati kami bagaimana kita bicara dengan guru sedangkan kita tidak tahu itu bahasa Inggris, tidak tahu bahasa India. Uh, on behalf of our colleagues, you would uh, like to say thank you so much for the opportunity of coming to India. Of course, the first impression, the first uh, upon arriving in, in, in India, they were all scared in the sense that they do not know any uh, English, they do not speak any Hindi, and then suddenly they have to be in the class, in a, uh, in a class situation, and they do not know what will come you know, uh, from time to time. Tapi walaupun begitu, kami tidak putus asa, kami maju terus. Tahu tidak tahu bahasa Inggris, tahu tidak tahu bahasa India, kami jalan terus. Pertama-pertama kami coba mengerti apa yang diterangkan oleh guru, sampai akhirnya kami bisa merakit, dan semua yang diajarkan guru kami faham semua, dan kami berangkat ke Indonesia pulang, tidak ada masalah. Semua baik-baik dan kami bisa merakit dengan baik. Okay. So <coughs> but uh, with the spirit that they brought from Indonesia, they thought that they should go on and uh, they tried in, in, in uh, their own ways to really understand what is being taught and now they feel that they understand all the, 
techniques that were that has been taught to them, and then they're now uh, very enthusiastic to go back to Indonesia and to tell their people in the villages that no problem, <laughs> no problem for all the the, the electric uh, electricity that are they are going to introduce to their uh, respective villages. Can we ask her how did she communicate in six months? Who, who is her best friend here? Okay, teman ibu terbaik sampai sekarang. Dalam enam bulan ini. Pokoknya teman kami semua, kami akrab dengan semua negara yang ada di all group sini. All of them. <laughs> oh. She, she feels close to all of them and so does her colleague from Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else she wants to tell us? The foreign secretary is here. She has something to tell her. Kami juga mau mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Pak Bangker dan Ibu Mega yang sudah bersusah payah ke negara kami bekerja sama dengan Wadah Indonesia di Jakarta mengutus kami delapan orang untuk belajar ke India sini dan akhirnya kami sukses dan sekarang juga kami sudah ditunggu di Indonesia di daerah-daerah yang tidak ada lampu listriknya dan bengkel-bengkel untuk kami merakit sudah disiapkan di sana. Again, so thank you for coming to Indonesia, meeting them and having them come here to uh, India and uh, equipping them with uh, more knowledge and uh, rest assured that in the villages everything is already being prepared for this technology to be implemented. Thank you. Thank you. Terima kasih juga kepada Bapak Ibu Guru yang sudah bersusah payah mengajar dan membimbing kami orang yang tidak tahu bahasa Inggris, yang tidak tahu bahasa Indonesia, tetapi akhirnya maklum dan paham dengan semua komponen PCB yang ada. Okay. Their gratitude to the teachers have so understandingly and so tirelessly taught them and understandingly uh, go along with their thinking and their way of uh, communication. Thank you. Kami berharap kapan-kapan <laughs> Pak Bangker bisa mengutus kami lagi ke sini. They will they are waiting for Mr. Bangker's invitation to come over to India once more in the future. <laughs> Usually uh, when there is an opportunity I go back to see some of these grandmothers in different countries. And the first question I ask these grandmothers is, are your husbands scared of you? And they say, everyone is scared of me. Because I've been to India and back, and that's the mystery of it all, the mythical part of going. Because all these women, when they go, it's like a, it's like a funeral, because they don't know where they're going to come back. Six months is so far away. And when they come back into their countries, it's like a resurrection, because they see and I keep telling the husbands, this is the last time you're going to see your, uh, your mother like this. You won't recognize her when she comes back. She's so charged up. Uh, next, we will have Mexico. Rosa. Will you ask her to say something about her experience in, in, in India? Antes que nada, muy buenas tardes a todos los presentes. Mi nombre es Rosa Elvia Hernández Vicente, soy de México y vengo del estado de Oaxaca. Primeramente, uh, let me tell you good afternoon every, everyone. My name is Rosa, I am from Mexico, from the beautiful state of Oaxaca. And first of all, agradezco y le doy las gracias al señor Bunker Roy por habernos traído a Pilonia, al Colegio Pies Descalzo, para hacer de nosotras unas grandes ingenieras solares. We want to say thank you to Mr. Bunker Roy for give us the opportunity to come to Pilonia and uh, exchange ourselves in a great engineers in panel solar. Agradezco a todos los maestros porque día a día, con mucha paciencia y entusiasmo, nos enseñaron a hacer un char controller, un LED LEM, un LEM solar y un solar landem. Also, we want to take thank you to all our teachers because with patience and a lot of uh, care, they 
teach us how to prepare all the components for the solar panels. Eh, aunque las culturas y tradiciones hayan sido diferentes a las nuestras, pero todo esto fue maravilloso. Nos vamos a nuestro país, pero los llevaremos a todos ustedes, a toda esa gente de Tilonia, en nuestros corazones.
life. Apart from individual achievements, these women have contributed a great deal in giving a dream to every young girl who wants to make a place for herself in the world. May I now request Foreign Secretary Ms. Sujata Singh and the other guests to please launch the book. 